Let's start installing the Jupyter Notebook that will be used as the code editor for running Python scripts. Search for Anaconda Navigator in the Start menu. You can also pin the application to your taskbar. Click to start the Anaconda Navigator. The loading will take a couple of seconds. Once loaded, you will see all the apps and features that Anaconda Navigator has to offer. If you are using these apps for the first time, you will have to install them. In case if the apps are already installed, you simply have to launch them. In this course module, we will be working on Jupyter Notebook. By default, you have one environment installed. This is called Base Environment. Environment is simply the set of packages and libraries that are available for coding. You can inspect the base environment by clicking Environments from the menu. Now you will see all the packages and libraries along with their versions that are installed for base environment. Since I've already installed Jupyter Notebook, so I'll click Launch to load the application. You will see a browser-based homepage where you will find all the notebooks that will be code later on in this course, plus the folders and directories of your system. As we've seen in the last lecture, the content of the homepage comes from the C Drive Users folder that was set as default location during Anaconda installation. Let's have some fun with our first Jupyter Notebook. Click on New to start a new Python 3 notebook. The new notebook will open in a separate browser tab. By default, the name is Untitled that you can change simply by clicking on the Untitled. Let's do some basic arithmetic operations. Type 1 plus 2 in the first cell. You can run this code by either pressing Shift and Enter or the Play button. Now you can see the output below the cell, which is 3. Let's repeat the operation this time with multiplication and press Shift and Enter. Perfect. Let's now quickly recap the Jupyter Editor. Since the Jupyter environment is set up, you can type Jupyter in the Start menu and you will see the Jupyter icon. Click on the icon to go to Home Page. It will take few seconds to launch Home Page. Click on New Tab to open a new notebook in separate browser tab. Do some mathematical operations and press Shift and Tab to execute the code. and we are done. See you in the next lecture, where we will start working on data frames using pandas.